What's up, boys? Today, we are going to be doing a play review on Fantasy Foot, Jonathan Bamba. This guy's team this season card last year was so good. One of my favorite cards in this card reminds me of that. That card did have five-star skills, but the four-star, four-star on this card is still good enough and still really good. He has got great animations in this game, both dribbling and shooting, and even passing for some regard. Skill moves are really good. He's right-footed, high, high, 5'9". Five, 5'9 nine. Five, nine is a good height for attackers, especially wingers. You want your, your strikers, your central players, to be not super tall, but you still want to be really quick and have a little bit of a presence on them. But wingers can be much shorter, like 5'9", a bit quicker, not a lot of strength. Even though he does have a decent, decent strength, this guy moves really, really well. He is a bit pricey. He's around like 300k. Let me check real quick. When I bought him, he was at 300k. So I think this card's price will go up after, say, a plus 2 or a plus 3 upgrade, which I think he can get. Uh, the only thing that, that comes with that is, he, he, I don't know, it's weird. The card is good, but he's going to get better. And I think the price will rise. Yeah, he's around 322k around that. Four star, four star. If he goes to a 92, this guy's going to be, I think it might be four. I don't think it's going to go up that much because he's already a pretty higher, a higher price than I would have thought initially. But let's take a look at the in-game sets really you guys know he's fast. He's 97 pace. It's nine. It's balanced across the board. 97 acceleration. 95. 97 sprint speed. On the sh on the on the shooting stats. Very good attack positioning. Very good shot power. Two very important stats for shooting. Wish the finishing was a bit higher. It's 86. But it does it does get by because he's paired with both speed and dribbling to get him into easier positions to score. And the shot power is just it's it's overpowered this year. The shot power is so so good. And he's got good, decent long shots, actually. Pretty good pens, not great volleys, but I wish a little bit of the stats from his pens, long shots, and volleys were sort of put into the finishing. I wish the finishing was around 89-ish, but if he does get the plus three, it will go up to 89, so that is definitely something to look out for. Passing is actually pretty decent. He's got 88 short passing, 89 vision, and 86 crossing. Crossing, very important for wingers. And as he is a left mid and he's right-footed, you're going to want to cut inside with a bit of crosses. But you can still hit him on his left. Whenever I would cross to them, I think it was fine hanging on his left. There was some times when you would power it up a bit. It would just go everywhere. But that sort of happens with FIFA in this game and the way passing is coded. But nothing out of the ordinary with him when it comes to crossing. If anything, he's better than the average winger at crossing. Got 87 curve, which definitely helps with that. His dribbling stats are, are elite. It's, a, it's 90 across the board. But you look at the agility. You look at the balance and it's 92 agility and 93 balance with a plus three that's going to go to 95 and 96 which is the most it, it's top tier meta it's top tier meta good reactions as well reactions are very important for wingers i think sort of just it helps the skill moves click a little bit more they help them go off just that tad bit faster 90 base stat of dribbling as well 87 composure the composure is key for the shooting stats because his finishing is not the best but when you pair Shot high shot power, which he has with low finishing, things can get a bit bit risky, as you know, as just skying into the bar, row Z stuff like that. But if you have composure, I would say 87 is like just where you want it. 87 or higher is where you want the want the composure if you don't have the best finishing stats. So he's definitely good in that regard. I really liked him in game. Some of my favorite things, I fake shot with this guy was really good. It felt really quick. Uh Burba spins were good. What else? Heal the heels. I liked heal the heels a lot. He felt he was just sort of exploding through center back stuff like that. Heading accuracy 74 is pretty solid as well. 97 stamina, 88 jumping, and 76 strength and 75 aggression. Which the aggression was a bit higher, but I get that the physical stat is a bit low. And having the 90, 97 stamina is so good. It is so good. Uh, stamina in this game, especially for wingers, is very good because they're sort of just they're running all over the place. They're tracking back a lot. If you play them in a formation where you have them come back on defense, they will make a fair amount of tackles for you. So it's good to have them to have the, good to have that stamina so they can go into the later ends of the match. Even if you want to sub them off, this wouldn't be a guy that I would recommend subbing off subbing off because he's fast and he's got. It's 97 stamina, 97 pace. He's fast. He's going to be fast throughout the game, even into the 80th, 90th minute. Looking at the player traits, I love this guy's player traits. He's got long shot taker, flare, and outside the foot shot. If this guy had finesse shot trait, I think though that would be the best combination of traits that I've seen in this game. He also has speed dribbler, but outside the foot shot is so good. Even... Outside the foot shot is so good with players with three-star weak foot. It's so good with players with four-star and five-star weak foot. But four-star weak foot, it sort of makes it feel like a five-star weak foot at times. I know it's not, but it definitely helps a lot. I think it's the most, the, the quintessential shooting stat or shooting trait this year or offensive trait 
very very good flair is also good long shot taker is very good when it comes to finesse shots let's check his long shots one more time long shots yeah long shots are wait long shots are 88 with 92 shot power so that combined with the trait combined with outside the foot shot should be very good flair is always nice to have it just it does to me to the animations and i really like the way this guy moves in game he felt super silky it's not one of those cards where the stats don't line up with the feel the stats definitely lined up with the feel he felt super good both in in the final third and then in the build-up play the build-up play was what i noticed a big thing uh passing wise and dribbling being able to get the ball his back turned to goal with a midfielder midfield line behind him turn pass one two sort of give and go and it worked very well I like the 89 rated on this guy, which is definitely a big thing for the bonus, for the plus upgrades. A lot of these fantasy footcards are good, but they have low base overalls at like 86 or 87. So when they get the plus three, they're only going to an 89, 90, but this guy's at an 89. So when he, if he gets a plus three, which I think he will, because Leal have been doing pretty well. Not as good as last year, obviously, because PSG are much better this year than they were last year, but they won the title last year. They're a solid side. In five games, this guy this guy should be able to score. He's gotten a fair amount. Of, he always gets informs. He gets special cards every year since he's been, been playing pretty well for Leo. And to score an assist is harder than to keep a clean sheet, obviously, but he, I think he can do it. I think he can do it, and I think he will get... 100% will get the plus one pretty much will get the plus two and the plus three is it's something i think he'll get chem style wise for this guy i don't know i think you might want to just put shooting and drip uh, shooting you don't want to touch the pace you don't want to touch the pace shooting you definitely want to touch actually i don't know it's, it, it's pick between shooting and dribbling because they're both very similar in the fact that they have good stats in good places he's got a 80 93 attack positioning and 92 agility. He's got 92 shot power, 93 balance. He's got somewhat okay finishing, but he's got okay. He's got okay dribbling. He's got 90 dribbling as a base stat. But it's really where you where you feel it. He needs the the push. Give him the chem style, either shooting or dribbling. But that's gonna do it for the video, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe.